So according to my calculations, if I find the world's cleanest, purest water, I can make the world's tastiest ice. So we did some research and we found a company that makes the world's most kick-ass water filter. And I talked to Kim, a real-life water scientist, and tried to convince her to let me taste some of this sweet, sweet, ultra-pure water. Mommy. Bingo, bango, pure water, pure ice, see-through ice. Cocktail party. What's ultra-pure water? So ultra-pure water is water devoid of any impurities. So it has all the impurities stripped away from it. When it comes out, is it nothing but hydrogen and oxygen? Right. It's totally pure? Completely pure. I want to do a keg stand on this thing, basically, is what I want to do. I want to stand on my head and you just pour it in. So the problem is with ultra-pure water, ultra-pure water is very aggressive and it's very unstable. So if I would take Ooh. this ultra-pure water and send it through copper piping, it's actually gonna try to take the copper off the piping. It does not like to be pure. Basically what you're saying is pure water is thirsty. It's like a sponge that is made of water. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Let's do it. Okay, so we don't recommend drinking ultra-pure water. Well, that's a shame Especially because that's the whole point. If you would drink it long-term, it's going to tr try to take electrolytes from your blood. I don't even know what electrolytes are, so as far as I'm concerned, have at them. <laughs> what, are, what are electrolytes? Electrolytes are minerals from your blood. Relying on ultra-pure water as drinking water is gonna leach your body of all its precious minerals, and that's gonna make you really sick, and then you're gonna die. So I don't know if they want you to drink the water right from the unit. So one thing about filming at a place like Thermo Fisher is you get a lot of public relations staff coming to the shoot to make sure that nobody says something they shouldn't say and that nobody drinks a bunch of water and dies. Yeah, I have to do it. So, so not straight from the unit, but from a flask. From a flask, okay. okay. Fair okay. enough. Ready? Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, that is literally the most boring thing I've ever tasted. What it tasted like was truly the absence of taste. And it was gross because you have the texture of water and no flavor. So the impurities, like the minerals and stuff, is that what makes water taste like water? Mm -hmm. I always thought what made water taste like water was the water, the H2O. But you're saying the flavor is minerals. Mm -hmm. That's why different areas in the United States, water can taste very different. Okay, that's cool. Where's the best water? Dubuque, Iowa had one of the best tasting waters in the United States. How do you know? Uh, it was part of a competition. How did I not know about that? When was that? Don't over purify your water. Minerals and salts add character. So what do you guys use this for? Good old fashioned scientific experiments. <laughs> that was so awesome.